I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. All right, now you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yeah. All right, Mr. Telefero TV, how's everybody doing? Um, interesting weekend for me. I've been telling you guys that I was going to cover the ludicrous celebrity basketball weekend out in Atlanta, Georgia. And I did do that over the weekend. Caught up with some guys. Caught up with some um, um, entertaining personalities and, and, and NBA players as well. And one guy that I caught up with was John Wall. Now, salute to John Wall. I'll drop the entire interview shortly. But... I was able to ask him about something that's prevalent in NBA basketball talks right now, that Kyrie Irving, Isaiah Thomas trade that took place recently. And obviously one team that has to get affected by that was the team that lost to the Boston Celtics last year in the semifinals, which was the Washington Withers and led by John Wall and Bradley Bill. So obviously if any team in the East would get affected by this trade, it would be them, right? So here's what John Wall told me when I asked him about that trade. Check this out. What you think about, about that Kyrie Irving trade? It's all a business. Huh? That's, at the end of the day, it's all a business. So you just expect anything to happen at any time. Well, well, first and foremost, salute to John Wall. He didn't have to give me his time, but he definitely did that. And, and I always salute to anybody that takes the time out to rock with the Pharaohs. Here's what I think about the Washington Wizards. While, I, while we got John Wall on, on topic right now. They didn't do much this offseason. I was looking at their roster. Um, obviously, they're going to roll with with the backcourt of Wall and Bill. That's that's stapled. Um, here's where it gets tricky with them. They obviously don't have Nene anymore. They lost him to Houston last year. But they're rolling with Gortai that big. Maybe Jody Meeks at the three. Otto Porter at the four. Probably not. Maybe go Kelly Oubre at the three. Otto Porter at the four. Go small and running like that. I mean, there's definitely a couple possibilities that this team could do. The problem with them is they're not able to grab a superstar. They're not able to get a superstar type talent in Washington. They were one of the teams that many believe had an opportunity at getting Kevin Durant a year ago. We were told that Kevin Durant never really strongly considered the Washington Wizards, even though it's his hometown team, All right? The Washington Wizards matched the Nets offer. The Nets gave Otto Porter Jr. a $106 million offer this offseason. And the Nets and the Wizards matched it because they're, there's nothing else out there for them. They couldn't sign a free agent. So a, a high magnitude free agent. So they just matched Brooklyn's offer. So now you're tied to Otto Porter for the next three, four years. I don't know about that. Otto Porter's good. Improved that three-point shot a lot. But he ain't great. And when you talk about this team, how does the Wizards become great if LeBron is committed to staying in the Eastern Conference? Most of us believe he's out. But if LeBron wants to stay in the East and stay with Cleveland, what can the Wizards do for the next four or five years? You got John Wall locked up. Bradley Bill seems like he's going to be committed, I think, long term. What can they do to get a three or a four into Washington is the big question, right? What trades can they make? They don't have an influx of picks. They don't have an influx of anything. Hell, I'm not going to lie to you. If I was the Wizards, I would have thought about trading Otto Porter to Brooklyn straight up and down after signing him or at some point to get Brooklyn's pick. I think the Wizards need a pick if they're not going to be able to go out and sign a free agent. And I'm kind of shocked why more big-time free agents are not considered in the Washington Wizards, the Carmelo Anthony's of the world. Why isn't Washington on his short list? Wouldn't that make sense? They need scoring. They need a three or four. Why wouldn't that make sense? Paul George? Wouldn't that make sense? Maybe a, a little less sense than the Lakers, but it still makes more sense than the Thunder, you think? To get out of the West and compete for championships in, the, in a lower East? Because now you look up and John Wall said it's business. It was business. Well, the business side of things means that the Washington Wizards need to make a move. They can't compete. I'm not a rocket scientist here, but let's just state the facts. The Cavs got Isaiah Thomas, and they got better with better defenders. Jay Crowder's of the world. Don't get me wrong. They lost their superstar in Kyrie, but with their bench, they overall made a better team. 
Well, the Wizards couldn't get to the Cavs last year. They played the Boston Celtics. Let's look at the Celtics. The Wizards couldn't beat the Celtics last year with Isaiah Thomas man in the ship. You think they're going to beat the Celtics this year when they added Kyrie Irving and Gordon Hayward? The math would tell me that that's not the case. They're not beating the Boston Celtics this year. If you couldn't beat them last year, what in the hell would make you think adding one of the top 10 players in the league, you would beat them this year and a top 20, top 25 player in the league? I just, if you're the Wizards, what's next? Again, salute to John Wall for the interview. Great interview. But I just have to ask you, what, what is next for the Wizards, man? It just seems like a standstill. Salute to John Wall. Salute to the Wizards. They need a superstar desperately. You need three stars. Doesn't have to be three superstars, but you need three stars to compete in the league. They have two. And one soup, one of them's a superstar in John Wall. You need three stars to compete in this day and age in the NBA. Wizards don't have that. All right, it's time. I've been grinding for a long time. Y'all know that. And it's time I achieve one of my long lost goals. All right, I want 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm a little more than 30,000 away. So please, Pharaohs, help me run my sub count up in the month of September. If you watch this video, please subscribe to my channel. I want to hit 30,000 subscribers in one month to get to 100K. Again, we can do this, Pharaohs. I trust in my Pharaohs. Y'all didn't held me down and paid my bills for over a year. And I know we can do this together. We've been through a lot. The grind ain't never stopped. And we going forward in the month of September. I need about 30,000 subscribers in the month of September to achieve this goal. I'm going to grind my behind off to get to it. I know we got it in us. Thank y'all so much for the time, love, support. We finna do something amazing and have our moment. By the end of September, 30,000 subscribers in one month. Let's go!